When we were moving from being conventional to organic initially, I saw organic really as not doing things, so not spraying pesticides and not putting on chemical fertilizers. And I was looking for something to repair the damage that I as a farmer was doing to our soil. And that was what I saw in biodynamics. It was the ability to be able to repair and enhance the soil, to produce livelier plants, to bring that life vitality back to the soil and to plants that can then filter into the animals and the wildlife. My name is Richard Gantlett. I farm in Wiltshire at Yatesbury. We have a pedigree Aberdeen Angus herd. We grow cereals for uh, both milling, for flour and for porridge oats. And we also grow cereals for malting, which goes to make biodynamic whiskey. I was a conventional farmer in the 1990s and we bought some land which we then saw the quality of the soil just diminish almost in front of our eyes as we farmed it for cereals conventionally. The soil became paler and harder and therefore more difficult to work and to farm. And as a result of this, I really felt that we needed to change our farming system. And there were several conversations that led to me reinforcing this transition to work without chemical fertilizers and without agrochemical sprays. And leading on from that is the ability of nature to step in when we've damaged the soil and repair it for us. So the ability of living systems to repair themselves when things go wrong so that we don't have to step in and do those repairs. Nature's doing that for us and working for us all the time, naturally. So biodynamics on our farm, what makes it different to other farms? I think there are three parts. Firstly is we're a closed farm. Essentially, we don't bring in inputs from outside the farm, except diesel, a few small seeds we use in the pasture that we can't keep ourselves. The second element is that we think of the farm as one farm organism, including the woods and the trees and the hedges and the fields. They all interact together and it's important to think of them as one whole organism, not to separate the fields where your crops are from the hedges. It's a shared space. And the third part is the biodynamic preparations, the real enhancing and repairing bit we use preparations to bring back the life in the soil, enhance the life in the soil, so that we can have more vitality in the plants. The interconnectedness of nature on our farm is absolutely essential. This one farm organism comes from the organisms that are in the soil, from earthworms down to bacteria and fungi, but up to wildlife that exists on top, whether that's insects flying around pollinating our crops or whether it's farmland birds eating on the insects. And then the cattle. The cattle are absolutely integral in the fertility building phase. When we're looking at the cows and how they live on the farm, that's something that's evolved and we now include woodland, pasture, trees within the grazing areas rather than excluding them. So the cows can forage within them so they can self-medicate. So if they feel like eating some ivy today because Tommy's telling them they need some particular nutrients, then they can go and do that. They spread the good organisms and with cow manures around the pastures, both with their feet and of course the trees provide habitats for many of the farm organisms. Mm -hmm.